Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing a folio I created using supplies from my design team kit from Craft Supplies for You. You'll find a link to their two stores in the description box below. The basic structure for the folio uh, was created using a tutorial by Rosa Kelly and you'll also find a link to her video in the description box below. I've added lots of pockets and flaps to her basic structure and um, just because the video was a basic folio instruction video and then you add your own tastes. So for the whole project I've used this a Pixie Glen Prima paper stack. It's an A4 size so um, that worked out quite well because my folio is about 8.5 by 6 eight or something like that can't remember now but anyway this is my folio and as you can see from the top yeah, there's a two sides to it on the side here I've used um, some jewelry from the um, op shops and uh, this little buckly thing I had in my stash and this little a lovely little ta um, tassel was in my design team kit a few months ago. All of the flowers on here were handmade um, using papers from the pad and um, I've used dies to cut them out and then shaped them, assembled them, added some gems and uh, placed them on here. I've used um, hot glue to attach the flowers to the front because they get a fair amount of wear. I've also layered in some of this beautiful lace under the flowers and the ribbon that I've used on the side here I also used it in a bow in amongst the flowers here. So let's have a look on the inside. So open that up. So We've got the same pattern papers so that when you open it up it looks uh, uniform and tidy. Um, we open this flap out and here we have a little tuck spot and this opens out once again and we've got some photo mats in here, an extra pocket, then this here, there's a pocket here and I've made this envelope and this envelope will hold 6x4 photos so you'll be able to put photos in there and, and it's made of some paper that's really tough it looks very frail but it's very tough it doesn't tear easily so you'll be able to put plenty of photos in that then this opens out and we have um, a flap here and then we have some more mats in here so these are journaling spots you can journal this way on here if you want to or you could add a photo to it lots of journaling space there then we've got this there's a pocket here and then this lifts up like so and then we've got this section here there's a tuck spot here with where you can put a photo and then this has got a pocket with another photo mat and there is a tuck spot here so you could tuck something in there whatever you like to tuck in there that goes back in that pocket This is a, this revolves so you can use it for landscape photos or portrait photos, whichever you prefer. And you can put a mixture of them in there so you can turn your uh, waterfall so you can see the photo properly. This um, has got a little photo mat in there. This opens out. So we've got a flap here for a photo and we've got another one here. So as you can see in this area there is plenty of space for photos. And, um, 
this one comes up, that one goes down, that one comes over and that one comes over. Now this, there is a magnet in there that um, will hold it shut but I've got so many things in the pockets that um, it's not actually holding it shut at the moment. But if you were to take some of those out and you know it, it's fine, it sits there just perfectly. Now on this side we've got a lift up flap, plenty of room for photos there, you could put one large photo or some smaller ones. Here we've got some photo space as well and down here we've got um, a pocket and a photo mat. Then we've got here, this is a waterfall and it opens out like so and comes back down. I forget what she called that but uh, yeah, lovely. Then this opens out with a pocket and another photo mat. This is a little tag in there and a little flap. Photos, photos, lots of photos in here. Over here we've also got a, another envelope. You can put um, tickets or any of that sort of thing in those. And we've got a photo mat here or a journaling spot. Here we have a, another pocket with a tag. out that way that lifts up this is magnetized so that holds this envelope in place once again another envelope you can put whatever you like in there large area here for lovely photos a photo mat or a journaling spot there and that opens that way and we have a lift up flap here. So there we have it. So one, two, three, four, then up and up. So there we have our folio and um, as I said all of these flowers on the front are handmade using dies and papers from the paper pad. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video and the links to both of um, craft supplies for you store and also Rosa Kelly's tutorial will be below and if you're not already a subscriber I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching today and I hope you can join me for my next video. Bye.